Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just finished up project, gonna make a video on it. Got incubator done. Ta da! It is finished. It is a 112 egg incubator, and it's using the same as the big one I'm getting ready to build. It's got the incubator warehouse control. I just got this knocked out last night, got it set. Right there 99 one two real close it's moving up and down there you go well it's kicked in heater kicked in but that thing doesn't get out more than a degree it haven't even moved but about three quarters actually but very very good controls for making your own incubators and on this i had to drill four holes because it held heat way too well these little mini fridges are just awesomely insulated but you can see it's got the 56 egg Jane all style. No, it hasn't even been cleaned up. It's still got the foam in it. But worked out pretty good. Put some cloth wire, hardware cloth over the the trays that was in it. I knocked the glass out. Got them going. So, but it's very neat, clean. You see that fan up in there? Everything's just working like it should. And like I said, this has got the regular egg turners so and unfortunately i'm not keeping this so originally i was going to put this in for me a universal egg turner i have two of these for those but this is going to some friends of mine <laughs> they have been having an absolute heck of a time with their incubators dying left and right and it's just those box store ones the little giants and same thing I had with the farm innovators, the control boards and stuff are going out of them. And theirs I wasn't even a forced air, so I offered him this one for what I had in it, my cost. I'm gonna take the money and reorder the parts. I had to take the two egg turners out of the big one. I ordered six for it, which let me hatch 336 eggs. These are 56 eggers. But they wanted, they're just doing straight up chicken. So they don't need a universal egg turner and i've opted to put these in so i'll take that money and reorder the two egg turners and order me a new controller right there and i'll build another one because i've got one left unfortunately this is the only one i got left on the small ones but i am getting ready to put that big one together as soon as i get the other ink or the other egg turners in we'll get it built but i thought everybody would like this like to see it anyways and when i build this one i'll make a video of it with the universal egg turners and we'll do a hatch rate on it which with these being a proportional thermostat and everything these are awesome so i'm sure i'll have a good hatch rate and yes the the high-end ink you ink you kit has the egg turner timers it's in you can go in and set how often how long and all that and the proportional thermostat, four stair, them things are just awesome. Simple plug and play, I love them. They'll cost you a little bit. As of right now, the kit itself with one fan was 150 bucks, but. I don't mind that. I know there's cheaper ways to build these things. I've seen people build them with light bulbs, but they're not very, good and stable i don't like them in my deal this is not just to hatch personal chickens i sell chickens ducks you know and i'll make videos of that stuff down the road too but i don't mind putting a little money in some quality equipment that's going to work because at the end of the day if you're doing that and save doing a cheap route and it don't work and you lose half your eggs well you do the math what did it cost you you didn't save nothing you want as many hatching every 21 days on them chickens as you can or 28 with ducks but that's the name of the game so we went with quality stuff on this and i do like those egg turners they run on the cheap motors same as this universal these two and a half three minute rotation all that so you can get these replacements cheap for replacements and that was part of building these I was sick of those farm innovators and they didn't offer the control board or nothing. Inky Kit's been selling them for years. I can't even remember how many years that one set for I finally put it in something, but 
I mean, they've probably been selling them 10, 15 years, and they're still selling them. They're good kits. I wanted something I could put parts on hand. Something goes out, I can replace it myself <clears throat> and uh, go on. You know, it's worth a lot when you're doing this. Once we get set up, I'm really going to want a few spare parts. That way, if something goes down, I can change it real quick. But Anyway, like I said, helping some friends out. So they're going to get this one, and that's why the egg turners are different than what I said I was going to put in because it's not my incubator. But it did turn out good, works good, and I think it'll help them out and make them a nice one. So, you know, one last look. Like I said, I am very happy how this turned out. Yeah, we opened the door, and it's already back up. So, like I said, these little wine coolers, they are just insulated. They are just really, really good. I love them. And like I said, this one will make them 112 egg. Very, very nice. And I've got it set up. It comes with the plugs. You can unplug them once you take the egg turners out and they're about to hatch. You know, when you lay them on that hardware cloth. So. But this did turn out great. So, I can't wait. I'll get these two ordered so we can put the big one together and the other control board after I deliver this for mine so I can put my universals in. And the reason I went with universals, why I wanted them, I'm going to expand other than just chickens. I don't care. You know, you might get goose, turkey, egg, whatever. We go to auctions and we've done pretty good. We've actually, you know, if they say hatching eggs, you got to watch. Sometimes they just say eggs and people gripe because they don't hatch. Well, they're probably selling eating eggs. You got to make sure they they're hatching eggs you know but when we bought hatching eggs we've actually had pretty good luck with them over the years and kind of like the mystery too you know you never know what you're going to get but it might you know we might get goose egg turkey egg and they're bigger they won't fit in those regular chicken turners so and i seriously doubt it but if i ever get any small eggs i seriously doubt i'll ever hatch quail but buddy had them and eh that's a whole nother video by itself but I ain't, probably won't mess with them but if I wanted to I've got these but I could do pheasant eggs you know that's something I might pursue a little bit because they are very expensive birds and kind of thinking about that but I, anything I want I can put in these and that's why I went with these I'm not gonna build every incubator that way but I wanted to do a couple with the universals that way I had you know whatever whatever I get a hold of I can hatch and then after the two if I can find another cooler to put two of them in because I've got four total but I'll probably start setting up for the chicken eggs but I've got two great big coolers to put chicken eggs in so show you that if you're just tuning in I might as well give you a look at that this is a great big old just a Pepsi cooler it sodas and whatnot in it well that one still got the labeling on it but like I said this thing's gonna hatch some birds it's got the same control board in it. I do have to clean it up. I've just got it mounted in there for now. Everything's still loose. There's a little cleanup, but working. I did have it up to temp, and it held great. I went with two fans on this one, where that one's just one fan. And as of right now, June 7th, I think it is, of 2022, the two-fan kit will cost you 200 and the single is 150 Last I bought them, so... Like I said, I love those inky kits, but we got this one and this one coming and one little one. I'm probably going to knock it out next just to get it out of here. Then we'll get the control board in. It'll be first and we'll put two universal trays and that will take care of my needs for my little stuff because my incubators are dying too with those farm innovators. I've still got the two old inky kits and the one little Brenzy Mini and they are still kicking butt and going good and i need to do a video on those two incubators because i'll take that inky view for price and what it is any day over that brenzy and i need to make a video of that between the inky views and the brenzy minis you know the now they got other ones but there ain't no comparison for what you get dollar wise and I'll, I'll probably make a video of that separate you know inky kit and brenzy but or inky view not the inky kit same company sells this inky kit that's why it's stuck in my head but anyways i thought i would show everybody this this is awesome we're getting ready to do some major chicken hatching because i'm gonna build mine since i reorder my parts after i deliver this one but helping some friends out there doing chickens and stuff too and they're just having a nightmare of a time with their incubator so i opted to help a buddy out and build so we got one done for him i'm gonna deliver this and 
Like I said, if anybody's doing this, these ink kits are awesome. That was kind of what I wanted everybody seeing. You can get parts, you can keep your parts in stock. If you're really hatching commercially, build your own incubator, they're awesome. So, I guess I'm gonna cut the video off. Hopefully you liked it and liked the incubator I just built. I'm pretty happy with it, so quick view. But stay tuned for the other little one with the universal trays and the two big ones. So more to come, more farming stuff to come, all that good stuff and chicken hatching videos and ducks and all that stuff. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me. Subscribe if you ain't ready. You, or I mean subscribe if you haven't already. Excuse me, it's been nuts. I've been running around here. My brain's eh. But anyway, you hit the bell when you do and you'll get notified of the upcoming bills and all the stuff we got going on. So I'm going to load this and get out of here. But <laughs> anyway, hopefully you like it. And as always, catch you on the next video. Bye.